Another one of Paul's beer reviews, as you can tell by the title of the video, I've been shopping in Lidl's. Uh, they've got a new range of beers coming out uh, this week. Uh, the date is, let me think, let me think, 18th, 17th, 16th, 14th, 14th, yeah, 14th of October. Uh, this new range of beers is supposed to be coming out, so which would be, what, the Thursday? So, 15th, 16th, yeah. Thursday, the 14th of October, uh, a load of new beers are coming out into Lidl's. Uh, it's currently Wednesday evening. Um, I've managed to get hold of them early. Um, got a tip from my friend who says, always go to Lidl late the night before a beer launch because they'll be on the shelves because apparently from four o'clock onwards, the staff are supposed to put the new stock out. So remember that. Um, so a load of new beers have gone in. Um, I've got seven of which I've not had before. There's a few that have gone back in that I enjoyed from previous launches that I've picked up as well. Um, so I'm going to run through the beers. And I'm also going to review one of them because one of them I'm particularly excited about um, and uh, it doesn't need chilling. Let's put it that way. A bit of a hint of what type of beer it is. Um, so we'll start going through them. So the first one is uh, from a brewery called uh, Donkey Stone. I've never heard of them. They're from uh, Oldham in Lancashire. And this is a can of their Madagascar. And it's a vanilla stout coming in at 5% ABV. And there is the Donkey Stone logo. I like that. As far as logos go, that's quite catchy. I like it. So, yes, Madagascar Vanilla Stout, 5% ABV. And this one cost me £1.79. £1.79. It reminds me a little bit of the, um, was it the Brew York and Vocation collaboration? That sort of pudding stout thing they did. But, yeah, it, nice, nice can artwork. I like that. So, Madagascar. From Donkey Stone Vanilla Stout, 5% ABV, 179. Uh, next one I've picked up, we've got a beer from um, what are they called? I've got their names. I've got their names. Uh, Williams Brothers. Mind blank. Williams Brothers have got another beer out. It's their Tin Man Tropical IPA. And this one was £1.59, which I think is quite a good bargain for. Was it 5.5% ABV? So 5.5% ABV, tropical IPA, in a 500ml can with that slightly odd artwork that Williams Brothers go with. So the Tin Man Tropical IPA, £1.59, 500ml can. Look forward to that one. We've got another beer from Stuart Brewing. Um, Stuart Brewing, often their beers come out in these ranges. I've not had this one before. I don't remember seeing this one before. Some of you guys may have had it. Might be one I've missed. Uh, this is an American pale ale called State Trooper. Coming in at 5% ABV. American pale ale. Uh, that one was... How much was it? Uh, that one was also 179. So Stuart Brewing, State Trooper, American pale ale, 5%. 179 a can. Um, for Pure, I got their oatmeal stout that's gone in. I've heard wicked things about this beer. I've heard it's a particularly good one. I've not had it myself, but I've heard really good things. So for for Pure from Bermondsey, uh, not too far away, five point one percent ABV for this one, and this was one forty nine. So three thirty mil cans, a slightly smaller, one pound forty nine for the For Pure oatmeal stout. Um, Love Lane, um, they released a couple of beers in the previous little release, the previous launch, and I thought they were both pretty bad. It was the Berliner Weiss and the Pale Ale, and I, both, I thought they were both pretty poor. Uh, but they've gone in with two new ones in this new range. So Love Lane from Liverpool, this is their Baltic Lager, coming in at 4.4% ABV in a 440ml can. And that was one forty nine, one pound forty nine for a four forty mil can of lager. Love Lane Baltic Lager, four point four percent ABV. There you go. And this one is back in the air again. The seventy one brewing Luminous Lights, their New England Double IPA. And uh, this is one ninety nine. This one, but I'm sure I've reviewed this one before. But it's a cracking beer. And for one ninety nine, it's one of the best New England IPAs you can get in a supermarket. It's a lovely beer. That one is back in there. And these were the two I was particularly interested in. New one from Loch Lomond. It's called Prospect Street. It's a West Coast IPA. 
and it's coming in at 5.5% ABV. Um, lovely artwork again from Loch Lomond. This one really jumps off the shelf. Lovely colour to it. Um, so the Loch Lomond West Coast IPA, uh, £1.79. I picked up two of these because it's a West Coast and it's Loch Lomond. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. Really looking forward to it. And I've got one I'm going to review right now. So those are the beers. One more. This is the one that really took my attention when I heard about the launch. Um, this is another one from Love Lane. So another one from the Liverpool Base Brewery. This is an Imperial Stout. And it's coming in at 10%. It's a 10% Imperial Stout from Love Lane. And uh, it says 10%. Right there. And get this. £2.49. £2.49 for a 10% Imperial Stout. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna review this one now. Because um, I fancy it. I had it in the fridge for about half an hour, giving it a slight chill. I put it on the box there. So there, it is. there again, once again, that sort of basic... Love Lane artwork, a 10% Imperial Stout. Uh, so I've got my stout glass. Let's do a little bit of a read up on this. Love Lane Imperial Stout. Love Lane's brewery's home is in the heart of Liverpool's vibrant Baltic Triangle, a place full of doers, creators and makers. Says it's a double mash stout with notes of dark chocolate, licorice and roast malt, full bodied and rich. Ingredients, water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. And it's got some tasting notes on it, which is always good. So it's got Golden Promise, Flaked Oats, uh, Crystal 150, Crystal T50, Chocolate Malt, and Carafa 3 Malts. So it's got a list of the malts. Um, hops, it's hopped with Pato Hops or Parto Hops. Not familiar with that one. Uh, on the nose, we should be getting honey and roasted aromas. On the palate, caramel chocolate, finished smooth and velvety. IBU of 30. 10% Imperial Stout. Let's get this one out for £2.59. I don't really mind if it's... Oh, okay, that's a good aroma. That's a good start. That's a very good start. Really carbonated. You're a big fizz on that. That looks lovely. That looks really good. Top it up, leave that there. So there she is. This Imperial Stout holding up to the light. There is no red at all bleeding through that. That is jet black. I mean, that camouflage is in my t shirt. Jet black, slightly tan head, which is dissipating pretty quickly. But a 10% ABV beer, you do expect that. Get all that in. It's, uh, yeah, jet black, slightly tanned, barely a fingernail's worth of head on it now. Let's get me snout in. See, that smells like a proper stout. I reviewed the vocation barrel-aged uh, imperial banana thing, which was shocking. Um, this already smells like a proper stout. There's roasted mulch. There's coffee. There's chocolate. A bit of dark fruit. It smells proper. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Legitimately, goodness me. £2.59. Oh, there's a bit of warmth there. That's a slow burner. Complex. Roasted malts. Chocolate. Coffee. Bit of sweetness and a bit of dark fruit. Slight sweetness to it. It's... it's oh, that warmth is building. That warmth is building in the back of my throat. Oh, that's lovely. But it's subtle. It's gentle. You can tell it's boozy. You can tell it's boozy. But goodness me, that's drinkable. Oh, the body's perfect. There's oats gone into it in the malts, but I haven't overdone it. 
coats the palette but doesn't stick to it if that makes any sense really oh my goodness this is lovely dark chocolate milky coffee initially it's a bit of sweetness it's quite carbonated as well there's a gentle fizz to it dark fruit slightly smoky slightly smoky roasted malts lots of chocolate lots of coffee slight dark fruit sweetness initially and the finish is really long really long you're left with a bitterness and it's a lovely combination of that dark chocolate and that milky coffee oh it's so drinkable the body on it is lovely they've nailed the body there's oats gone into it there's wheat gone into it but there's not overly thick it's very drinkable. You can tell it's boozy, but if someone were to say to me this was sort of an 8.5, 8 9%, I'd believe them. I'd believe them. That is a really, getting a little bit of licorice. That sweetness at the beginning, a sort of dark fruit sweetness. It then follows up with roasted malts and in with it you get a bit of licorice. I'm not normally a fan of licorice. In fact I don't I don't eat licorice at all and I can't stand Sambuca shots. Um but the roasted malts, the chocolate, the coffee, it blends with it really nicely so it doesn't become too overpowering. There's a lot going on with this stout. It's lovely. It really is. I'm really impressed with it. I can't believe the price. I cannot believe the price. Two pound forty nine. Just looking at my list again. £2.49 this is. And it's it's quaffable. It's going down. Already I'm thinking, why the hell didn't I buy more than one? I wasn't, because I wasn't convinced with the last two Love Lane beers. I wasn't sure if it was going to be any good or not. Love Lane might be one of those breweries whose speciality is dark beer because this is an exceptional, exceptional, can't get me words out. This is an exceptional Imperial Stout. A 10% stout that easy drinking. It's wonderful. That's cracking. That's a bargain. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say it's the greatest Imperial stout I've ever had in my life. But it's very good. It does everything you want a decent Imperial stout to do. It's complex. It's roasty. It's a bit of sweetness there, but it's subtle. It's not oh, in your face sweetness like other beers I've had recently. It's balanced. It's complex. It's warming. It's everything you want to start to do this time of year. The nights are closing in and temperatures gradually dropping. It's perfect. And it's £2.49 in Lidl for a week. Um, I cannot recommend this beer enough. It's fantastic. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, and like I say, taking into account the price of it as well. I'm tempted to give it another 0.5, so maybe a 9.5 out of 10. Love Lane, Imperial Stout, 10% in Lidl for a week. That will not hang around. That will not hang around. If you want this, get down to Lidl in the next week. Do it. I recommend it. 9 out of 10 for this one. Once again, a run through of the beers. Four Pure out Oatmeal Stout. Love Lane again with their Baltic Lager. Stuart Brewing with their State Trooper. Um, what they call William Brothers with their Tin Man Tropical IPA. Donkey Stone with their Madagascar Vanilla Stouts. Uh, 71 with their Luminous Lights Double Nepo is back in. And the other one I'm looking forward to, the West Coast IPA from Loch Lomond. Uh, what's it called? Prospect Street. Really looking forward to trying those. Um, get down to Lidl. All these are going to be available from uh, Thursday the 14th of October 2021. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Get down to Liddles. This is a belter. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I hope you're keeping well. And uh, I'll see you very soon. Cheers.